If my people which are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, will I forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. This is the Bishop Scott Gerard Show. I'm Bishop Scott Gerard, and today is day 29, and I'm bright-eyed and bushy-tailed today. I'm going into God for, for prayer, for deliverance, for, for healing of the sick, and even raising of the dead. Hallelujah. We thank God on today. We feeling good and we feeling fine. God has put that hedge around us and it's been uh, almost 30 days. Tomorrow I'll make 30 days of 30 days of prayer. Today is day 29 of 30 days of prayer. And we're going to be just talk for just a brief moment about prayer. So that we'll know what we're doing, how we're doing it. We talked yesterday about the Lord's Prayer, which is the the most powerful prayer that it is because Jesus taught us that way to pray. And I kind of broke it down a little bit on, on what each section of that prayer is meaning. It don't, your prayer don't have to be word for word for that prayer, but it should be in the same style. The first thing you're going to do when you get ready to pray is that you're going to bow down, humble yourself and know that you are praying to the creator of the whole universe you're not praying to your mama, your daddy, or that's your boy, or hey, what's up, Jesus? What it do? No. When you approach the Lord, you approach the Lord with humbleness in spirit and in action. This is going to get the Lord's attention. Amen. So listen, uh, I wanted to talk about what's going on, this thing, okay? Soon, everybody will be back thinking that everything is uh pretty much back to normal, because if the Lord don't deliver us, we already know that it ain't no way in the world it's going to get back to the way it used to be. It's getting ready to be different. So I just want you to keep that in mind as you're going about your daily tasks, your daily activities. You know, we still uh, practicing that social distancing stuff. And, uh, you know, we making sure we got on a mask and stuff when we going out in front of people because we don't, you know, even though we may not have it, we don't know if we have it. You know, we don't want to get nobody else sick, right? Because, you know, we want to keep each other safe. Okay, so that's that's the physical part of it. So the spiritual part is, is that God can do anything but fail. So we just going to continue to pray. Even though we in the belly of the fish like Jonah was deep down in the sea and we don't see no way of escape. But there is one way. And that's with the Lord's help. We got to cry out to him, even though we deep down up under the, in that sea and when we riding around in that fish at the bottom of the ocean and we don't know what's getting ready to happen next. We know that we can cry out to him just like Jonah did. He said he cried out in the belly of the fish and the Lord heard him. He said it was a, a affliction of his own. But the Lord heard him in spite of what he had done, in spite of what he had planned on doing. <laughs> I'm going to let you read it for yourself. The, the, the book ain't that long, but I, I need you all to do your research sometime. Don't always rely on me or rely on the pastor. Do your own research, people, so that you will know the word for yourself. And, and listen, when, when, when Jonah did pray, he was able to give the Lord's words back to the Lord. See, when you can give God's word, his Bible, back to him and say, well, Lord, you said this. Lord, you said that. The Lord got to stand by his word. He ain't going to never do nothing that's outside of his word. Okay, so that's one thing that you can count on for sure. But you can't quote that, that word back to the Lord if you don't know it. If you don't know it, you can't quote it back. Because the devil is fearful of you when you can quote a scripture back. He had to step back and say, oh, this is somebody with power, with knowledge, with the spirit. All right. So listen, let's go ahead and have a word of prayer. And I'm going to get on off here. Day 29. I'm so excited of 30 days of prayer, y'all. Hallelujah. We just give God all the glory. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you, Lord, today with a bow down head and a humble heart, God, because you are great. You are worthy of the praise, God. You God and you God all alone. And Lord, we still come to you boldly because you said that we could come boldly to your throne, God. And, and Lord, we're asking God that you come with your spirit and come with the spirit of deliverance, 
let it go through all out this planet. Eradicate this thing that's going on, God. Help our people. Help your people, God, to understand the seriousness of what's going on, that it's time for us to get it right. Time for us to stop playing church. Time for us to have stop having business as usual, God. Help us to get away from business as usual and to get more spiritual into you, God. Let everything that we do, let everything that we say, let it be conducive to godliness and trying to live right, God, in our speech, in our mannerisms, in just everything that we do, God, here on earth, even in our jobs and as we go on about our daily tasks, Lord. Help us, Lord, to be nice to each other and to be more spiritual to each other. And let's don't even help us to not even get mad when we're driving down the street at the next driver. Just simple things like that, God. Give us peace of mind, knowing that you got everything already in your hand, that the end is already settled, that you settled it all on, on the cross when you died and you rose again, Lord. We thank you for that. We thank you for miraculous healing, people that are coming out, that are coming out of, of the hospitals and coming out of the sick beds, even at their houses, God. The people that have had that thing and didn't even know they had it and got over it, God. We thank you, Lord, for your spirit touching. And Lord, I just ask that you would just continue to be with us, Lord. Continue to work in our favor, God. Work things out in our favor. Touch every person, Lord, that's trying to do the right thing, God. Give them more inspiration, more, more, more spirituality to be able to do the right thing, God. In Jesus' name, Lord, help me. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, I praise you, and I give you all the glory. And somebody say, amen. All right. As I always say every day, I want you to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, click the bell so that you won't miss any of my shows, any of the messages that are being said, the prayers that are being prayed. Amen. We've been doing no singing, no preaching. No special intro music, none of that. We ain't talking about relationships. We ain't talking about finance. We ain't talking about none of that. We praying. We praying to God and we asking him for deliverance from this thing. This is the most important thing that we have ever faced probably in our life. Help us, help us, help us, Lord. All right, this is Bishop Scott Gerard on the Bishop Scott Gerard Show. I'm excited today and I hope that you are too. And remember, I love the Lord. And I love you too. Be blessed.